hello everyone today welcome to this channel again and in today's uh, video I want to show you something there is something really uh, disturbing you know coming into the web 3 space and as watchdog in this web 3 space you know we got to like uh, sensitize people get you to know what is happening okay and what is it it's not some advancement that is you know well renowned you know is one of these you know big tech company coming into uh, this web3 space and try to hijack uh, some of your controls you know uh, if you ask me so I want to show you something really quick and I'll let you be the judge over it I've just published an article about this particular thing to get people to be aware of what is happening so I'm actually making a video as well so I could show you what is really going on that visa yeah, visa you know is trying to do in this web3 space and I personally think from my professional opinion that is this is gonna like uh, give them control over you just like they have done with uh, with the web to space you know where you have censorship you have so many you know uh, privacy concerns and many kinds of things that are being you know done unjustly against you know you and your account your privacy and all those sort of things so it is time that you be very alert of what is happening because you know all these big tech companies that are don't have the best interest of you uh, i know are trying to get a space a market share in this web3 space and you need to know what is happening so that you won't just out of comfort you know just that you know submitting yourself handing over your you know your hands back to them to put you in the slave <laughs> slave programming slave slavery again so that gotta stop all right so i'm gonna show you this to, to uh, this particular uh video and i'm gonna you know show you step by step why i think that this is a uh another steps toward you know getting you uh, uh in their control please make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already um also click that notification bell you know follow me on twitter on instagram no i don't i'm not on instagram on twitter follow me on linkedin and join the discord channel which is in the description section okay so with that said let us get into the content of this uh video for the day all right so this is the article not an article basically this is a white paper released by visa okay and the white paper is talking about auto payment for self-custodial wallets okay and this is uh, a, a, a paper that they've just published you know uh, with them telling you their their mindset their opinion what they want to do you know to your wallet you understand so the white paper has a lot and I'm gonna like go step by step and show you some things that I found out in this white paper that you know gives a lot of red flags to uh, submission of your control which I don't really treasure at all when it comes to web tree development web tree space and all that I believe that you got to stay in control of your private keys you got to stay in control of your account your account your rule you understand that so i want you to i want to go through this article with you step by step okay so this white paper was actually published on the 20th okay the 20th of uh, of december that is just about four days ago okay and so uh someone sent me this particular uh, link to check it out so when i was on my own i checked it out and i said i find it out some some creepy things that i don't like about you know the white paper and i want to show you like you know of course the way the white paper you know discuss that you know the use of smart contract to enable automated programmable payment for self custodial wallet on the ethereum okay what does that mean that means that automated programmable payment means that they want a situation where on your wallet they want to design a wallet okay that we give them access to automatically sign transactions on your behalf okay the idea or the excuse that they are using is for helping you to make subscription based uh, payments where they can do that on your behalf instead of you doing that okay and 
you know the white paper this same white paper um suggests that self-custodial wallets are digital wallets you know they define it as digital wallets in which the user has sole control over the wallet and private key which is the true definition of what a self-custodial wallet however it was what uh, adulterated with the concept that they have to come and be the one to do that you know to sign transaction on behalf of you using a method that they want to inject into their wallet that will enable you know uh, them to sign transaction on your behalf that means to make payments on your behalf to and that means they can actually have access to your fund on your behalf you know and that is really crazy to me you know just looking at it from a face value point of view but i'm gonna go clo uh, deeper into this to show you what is re really going on the paper proposed you know a solution for enabling uh automated payment from self-custodial wallets using smart contracts which would allow user to set up recurring payment and make you know other transactions automatically uh but one potential danger is you know about this idea of visa is that uh, smart contracts are open source, meaning that their codes are, you know, are visible to everyone. If the contract contains, you know, uh, uh, vulnerab vulnerabilities or is not properly audited, it could potentially be exploited by malicious, you know, actors, malicious people, you know. And we've seen this a lot in this year where we have so many use. Uh, so many news where you know a ton of money was zapped from maybe say a bridge a, a crypto bridge a crypto uh, uh, platform you know a lot of trade a lot of crazy stuff happened money were just moved hacked and all that you know and just imagine that you know uh, this particular kind of uh, idea that visa they are, they are talking about is hacked or is hijacked by you know some uh, group they're gonna like be able to just zap people's money all over the world you know that is just gonna be crazy so this is one of the red flag that i had seen already coming on this particular idea uh, you know i'm not even done like i'm still going deep like it gets it gets crazier okay the use of automated payment and maybe also reduce the user's control like this is what i found that may also reduce the user's control over their digital currency as they will not have uh, to act, they will not have to um, to actively initiate payment so what will happen is that you will not have to actively initiate payment payment will be made on your behalf you understand that that goes against the ethics of the blockchain the ethics of the blockchain is to bring back control to you not for you to what give it all the way back that is the only thing you have right now when it comes to financial freedom financial privacy and all that there is none in the world everything is just monitored and censored the only place that you have that privacy is in the blockchain now and here comes visa trying to hijack that from you you know in overall users who value privacy and control over their digital currency may be hesitant to use a solution that involves the use of of smart contract for automated payments you know smart contract and automated payments is not such a a good way to go especially in the way that visa are actually you know trying to uh um, go about this thing okay i'm going to show you some crazy stuff right now okay uh for example i highlighted some some words you know from some quote from their own uh, uh works you know that i want to like show you for example look at this you know when you read through this particular word, i just highlighted this like look at what this place is saying this place is saying that we propose a new solution toward a reward application of auto payment to demonstrate how to write a smart contract for self custodial wallet that can pull fund take note of that that can pull fund automatically you know let me highlight that pool funds automatically instead of instead of requiring users active participation each time 
to instruct and push payments on the blockchain so they won't need your 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 approval they don't need all those things the only approval they need is you know the the one that you you have to just give them you know uh when you sign up with your wallet okay and they will be able to make all those sort of uh crazy stuff on your behalf without you knowing and you know you know how visa has been you know how all these big financial institution institution have been about monopolizing uh, you know uh, uh the the services the the field you know the the area the blockchain space that is what they were gonna do that is what they are gonna do you know i'm not anti-visa and all that but i'm just very pro a protective of you know the blockchain and the web tree space because this is this is where i feel like i'm being called to you know really instruct uh, sensitize people about okay and that that's not only the idea i found out that uh you know using this illustration they, they use a certain illustration let me let me highlight that as well this is one Ill illustration where they're using uh for example where they have alex and some other uh, person that they are like saying in this place um, which they indicate that auto, auto payments allow users to set up reoccurring payments for their bills such as mortgage rent and utility bills and other transactions automatically and you know why they, are, they, they took that from this particular line where you have uh, you know this thing here one solution is for Alex, you know, because they were giving a solution about Alex and, you know, using a person named Alex. Now, one solution is for Alex to use what is known as custodial wallet. With a custodial wallet, another party, look at this, listen to this very well. Another party, another party controls Alex's private keys. And guess who this pri another party is? This another party is actually Visa. They're going to control your what? Private keys. And if they control your private key, that means that they can do whatever they want to do with your what? Funds. And boy, I'm not into giving anybody control over my private keys anymore. It's time for those sort of things to stop. Okay? It's time for you to really have control over your wallet and, you know, have or you know soul privacy and authority and how you want to spend your money and not somebody wanting to uh to spend your money for you a couple of day uh weeks ago or let's just say about a month ago um paper tried to bring about that craziness into you know uh the the world like saying that you know if you make any statement that they you know quote that is uh this information they are going to charge you or deduct 2500 usd from your account on your behalf like who gave paper that sort of what authority to do that on your behalf who gave them that legislature who gave them that governance over your finances they are just a dumb payment service why are they you know so interested in wanting to what to take over you know your speech to 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 limit your free speech and all that so these these all these sort of things happen because people remain silent and i want to just let you know about this thing and i want you to be very very careful about what is happening okay so that you won't have to just you know throw away your your right your private key and hand it over to you know all these tech giants you understand what i mean so still on this particular uh, a piece of uh, work or legislation, uh, this paper, white paper that I, that uh, Visa published on crypto, uh, I, I've, I found out that you know auto payment allow user to easily and efficiently make payment for their recurring bill or other transaction without having actively initiate the, each payment. This solution allows user to set up and automate payment for their recurring bills saving them the hassle of manually initiating each payment okay the idea that is being traded to you is that it will bring a lot of comfort to you you don't have to do anything you understand which is basically what they often throw at you you know for your own comfort you trade off your control you trade off your privacy you understand all those sort of things are not going to land you in a very good place because this 
they are not they don't have your best interest in heart they just you they know that okay you like private you like uh comfort you like all those sort of uh, sweet sweet things you understand that and they want you know to use that as an alibi for you know having control over your wallet over your money you understand what i mean so you can't let this thing to happen to you all right so these statements that i found are many other statements here which when you go through this thing yourself this is why you have to what study stuff yourself you don't just allow other people to do all this research for you so but i've done quite some of this research for you and from my own professional point of view i am telling you this is what i feel i feel a lot of you know disturbing things concerning this idea of bringing you know uh handing over your control your privacy you know your security your private key to visa for because of comfort because they want to make recurring billing system for you no okay so they are they are this thing their statement suggests that the proposed solution that they would in that they intend to bring to you would allow them uh, will allow you users to set up an automated payment without the need to actively initiate each payment which will reduce your control over your digital currency that is the idea you understand it will reduce your control over your digital currency if you allow visa to have you know uh, control over your money okay so you've been taught you've been told this you you are not ignorant of what is going on anymore so make the best of it make the good decision let people know about this whole idea and don't allow you know this big tech giant to you know hijack your life hijack your finances and enslave you anymore it's no longer that time this has to come to an end all right so that is how what i have for you today on this particular uh, uh, video recording so i hope that you find this very useful i hope that you like this and and you know other than that uh there is something that i would like you i would like to show you okay so this is my book right now that it was just currently launched and if we are purchased uh, you know we haven't purchased already but this book are, is really really cool and i am bringing this book in again and again to show you right now that you should go get this book okay this is what will help you to get mastery over what blockchain really is and the intricate details about it and how to build a solution around blockchain i wrote I've written down all the things that you need to do in mastering you know uh smart contract development and i need you to go get this book right now at this uh price that it is right now is on amazon you know is on this other platform uh, you know, on my buy me coffee account which is cheaper there if you go there you get it a lot cheaper if you if you should buy it from amazon so but i'm just putting it there so that in case you just want to buy it from amazon but you can buy it there and have it downloaded copy of it yourself you know so get this book right now and it's it's right now being sold enjoy this use this book to study and actually groom yourself in this web3 space thing because a lot of people are coming in and this is your time to gain understanding about what this uh, web3 thing really means because if you don't you know uh, others will come and take over and then they will tell you oh they will do this for you they will do that for you and you hand over your control to them so why if why not be sensitize yourself why not learn blockchain for real why not invest you know money into building yourself in this space and and it's for your own good you know this is you i don't need this book for myself i need it for you this is what you need to uh become better you know become an in-demand blockchain you know develop up become sensitized become you know uh much more uh, uh, rounded in the blockchain space so if you like that you know go get this book okay all right and this is it for this today and i will see you in the next tutorial all right bye valentine here signing out